So let's take a look at which version of Dolphin is right for you, because like I said before, every phone is different and games are going to run differently on every device. There isn't a one size fits all like there is if you just own a console. Performance is going to vary and the mileage you get is going to depend on the power and CPU slash GPU in your phone. On the Dolphin website, they recommend having a Snapdragon 700 or newer CPU with GPU capable of OpenGL ES 3.0 or higher and Vulkan 1.1 is definitely recommended. To find out about your phone's capabilities, I highly recommend just Googling your phone and the CPU with these terms just to see what it is capable of. A phone with at least two big cores is desired. This is certainly going to be a test it out kind of experience. Try one version and if you have trouble, try out a different version. The first place I'd go to is the Google Play Store. That's where the most up-to-date beta version is likely going to be. It's the official version of Dolphin and the most stable on Android. You're going to get the best accuracy and official fixes by the Dolphin development team. It's also going to benefit from self-updates and when you update, you're not going to risk losing any data or have to create a backup every time that you need to update the APK. The only downside is that if there's any new breakthroughs that happen that allow for better emulation, then you're going to have to wait a few months for them to be implemented into the beta release and sometimes this version can be a few weeks or months behind what's available on the website. If you've watched all my settings videos and you've tried all my fixes and you're still having issues with Dolphin, you can then try the developmental builds on the official Dolphin website. In the past, I've used these versions of Dolphin because they've had some features that were unavailable in the beta release on Google Play and certain games have run better on them. But for now, I'm happy with the Google Play Store version. These builds are updated two to three times a day and sometimes can be the key to getting better performance. Simply go to the website in the description and try a few of these out and see if it helps with your issue, especially one of the ones that has Android in the description. These versions are at the forefront of Dolphin development, but they have significantly less testing and have a bigger risk involved. They also don't auto-update, which means you have to download and reinstall a new version every time, which can be a lengthy process and requires you to back up all your data and then re-ingest it. And if you forget to do that, you then run the risk of losing all your progress. If you've downloaded the developmental build and you're still having issues with performance after trying that, then there's still one glimmer of hope, Android Forks. And though these aren't used to eat your phone, these are unofficial builds that focus on performance on Android. They sacrifice a lot of stability and accuracy for getting games running. It's kind of a last chance saloon, but it's worth it if you're having trouble with the official build. I'll leave links in the description for these builds and you can try them for yourself. The one I recommend is MMJR2 by Lumins, as it's the only one that's actively still in development. But to download it, you go to the GitHub page, find the latest release, download the APK and install it to your phone. It has a lot of familiar settings and menus and it's basically the same as the official build, so it's very familiar in that sense. I've been playing Skyward Sword on it for a few days and while the frame rate is more stable, there's been a few glitches here and there that weren't present on the official version. So that's everything you need to know about the different versions of Dolphin on Android. There's other forks you can check out, but there hasn't been many updates on them for quite some time now, so I'm not going to go deep into those. The beauty of these forks is that you can have both installed on your phone, so if one game runs better on MMJR2, then you can use that and you can also have the original Dolphin installed for other games if that's what you want to do. If you want to know how to set up Dolphin and get better performance, or if you want to know how to get your games looking better if you have a higher end device, then check out my videos on setup and installation in the description down below or on my channel. If you're new here, then please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you find this information useful, then hit that like button. It really does help my channel grow. I make a lot of videos on emulation and tutorials on how to get the best out of emulators. I also have videos on how to set up controllers and the best control setups for Skyward Sword and the Mario Galaxy series. So if you're having trouble with the controllers, check out my controller setups for those games. I hope this video found you well and you're having lots of fun playing retro games on your Android phone. And remember, don't do anything I wouldn't do.